Hello, everybody. Just got this guy from school, huh? And we were gonna go to the, a park near his school, Mama. but the splash pad wasn't on. So Mama. I'm like, well, let's just go the new one because it's only, it's really close to his school. Um, so we're gonna do that this afternoon. I think we're gonna come back this Thursday after school with some friends, but I'm like, let's just go spur of the moment. It's way less crowded today, Mama. which is awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, Miss Sissy loved my haircut. Did she? Yeah. Noah really likes his teacher. It's great. What did you learn about today? Letter D. Letter D. D dinosaur. Da da da. D D dinosaur. Da da da. Hey, did you get to the potty? So maybe I can get a better view of the splash pad today because there's not as many kids here. I knew that thing spun. My it does spin. That giant ball thing. We're at the park, but PJ has to go potty. Okay. Who's swinging like a big girl? Are you swinging like a big girl? Hello. Hey. Hi. Give me a high five. Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah. That's crazy. Whoa. Just discovered there's more slides. An actual rock wall. I'm right here. Good job, buddy. Ooh, these rocks are hot though. Are your hands hot? No. Good job. Wow. Okay. Don't do that too many times. I don't want you to fall. I can't see you over here. I cannot fall. Yeah, you can. Only once more. This is what I look like. Looks like I just worked out, but no, I was just sitting in the blazing hot sun. It says it's like 108 out here. I'm really glad that Ezra's sleeping at home because we would not have lasted as long as we did. This is a really cool park though, not gonna lie. We'll be back again on Thursday after school. <laughs> Might just have to start coming here after school since it's so freaking hot still. I finally today reached the point where I'm like, okay, I'm ready for it to cool down like 10 degrees. 20 degrees would be so great, but uh, I'm ready for 80s, be nice. Next morning. This is my hair from just waking up, not doing anything to it. This is Ezra's hair from waking up, not doing anything to it. This is Jenica's oh, hair. <laughs> Wait, where's this little slobbery boy? None of our kids drooled as much as this boy. Yes, I know. I know, I know. We actually have the little bandanas for him to wear because we gotta keep some of that drool off of him. I like the deep V-neck. What's up with you? Um, I hurt my back again. Again? This is my third time this summer. Isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's not really summer anymore, but I pulled, I think I, I pulled it, a muscle or something, when we were at Monica and Elliot's parents' house a couple weeks ago, but now something's really wrong. So I, I can't, I can't even oh. breathe right. If I breathe the wrong way, it like hurts. So I'm basically making you hold anything heavy. So here, why don't you, <laughs> hey babe, no, make this up too. <laughs> It's not, I don't want people to come and be like, Sam, why are you making her hold Ezra while her back hurts? No, I literally just picked him up, and I'm fine if I'm just standing and holding him. I just can't like get up and down off the couch. And so you need to go get it looked at? So I'm gonna go get a, a, go to the chiropractor, and he's fixed me all the other times, so I'm gonna have him come fix me again, hopefully. Hopefully he can just like, something's just like popped out of place or wrong, or I don't even know. And you, Missy, is this your just woke up hair? I watched this video about these like blonde haired, crazy hair girls, and they have a, there's some sort of, it's not like a disease, it's just something, or they have crazy hair, like they can't oh, control it. That. It was kind of dumb, but it, <laughs> that's from putting a gallon of her hair. It reminded me of PJ, because sometimes it's really hard to tame her hair too. Hmm. Huh. What is that, PJ? Cactus. Cactus? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Who made that? Lala. Yeah. And you, my man, look at that hair. I like it. Do you like your hair? Did somebody fix it for you? It was pretty good before, though. Ow! I can't get in the car. Oh my gosh, you guys. Why do I, why does this keep happening to me? I keep hurting myself. It's not my hip this time, but it's my back. My lower left half of my back. And it's really frustrating because I can't like bend. I can't even sit, like this is like uncomfortable sitting. Okay, let's hope I can just get there. 
get there and get fixed. Okay, I trust that I can be fixed after this because this chiropractor is great and he's fixed me all the other times that I've needed fixing. <laughs> so I'm hoping something's just out of alignment. not as easy of a fix as my hip issue was last time and now I'm stuck with this <laughs> I feel so silly luckily it can go under my clothes but sorry get my backpack in here luckily it can go under my clothes but he was just showing me how to put it on let's just see if I can get in the car Oh, so much better than last time. Oh, so much better than when I was getting in the car earlier. Okay, this helps. Okay, so, stuck in a brace for the next couple days just to, basically, when I pulled something at Monica's and Elliot's house a couple weeks ago, it was very dull and he said that it probably just like, you know, caused a little inflammation was probably just fine. But as I've gone on, like I don't slow down, you know? If anything, I just keep going, going, going because I have three children at home to take care of and I'm just bending a lot with the baby, nursing in awkward positions and bending over the crib and everything like that. But everything, like as a mom, you're basically bent over. Don't you think? <laughs> you're emptying the dishwasher, you're doing laundry, you're wiping bums, you're cleaning up toys, you're always bent over. So I'm not surprised that's where most of my pain is. But it's, he says it's just gotten worse and the vertebrae down there is just like digging into my nerves now. Like the inflammation is causing it to like, it shifted. And now it's like the vertebrae is just like pushing into those nerves down there, which is why like it's such sharp pain that's shooting down like my butt and my thigh. It's not sciatica, it's just the vertebrae out of place or the joint or something he said. He was trying to show me. It's really, you know, medical terms. <laughs> if you're not in that field, a little hard to understand. So I was hoping he could just realign me and have it be good to go, but it since it's so tight down there now because sleeping it would just get tighter and tighter and tighter and now it's just like so tight down there and inflamed that it's going to take a little while for the pain to go away, unfortunately. Like even sitting here you guys, like I want to cry, it's, it's so painful. So. But I'm feeling better than I was before. He's like, so how was your pain earlier? Like six, five or six? I'm like, no, like I was up at a 10 today. Definitely like this past week or even last week I was at like a five, like, like a dull three and four, you know? And then yesterday was like a six. And then last night was so painful, like, like at eight. And then today can't even move. Like Sam's had to get, take Ezra from me like after nursing. Oh gosh, man, I hate like being in pain when you're a mom because there's just so much you do all the time. It's like you don't have time to be in pain. I don't have time for this. But we're getting it taken care of. So he says tomorrow, hopefully, by keeping this brace on um, and I have this like cooling gel stuff, biofreeze gel that, uh, It'll be just like more of a dull, achy pain soreness tomorrow and not so sharp. Cause this brace is gonna help help keep the, like the adjustment in place instead of it like getting all tight again. But I have to come back Friday, this Friday. And then, oh my gosh, I just realized, like I'm going out of town this weekend. Oh my gosh, we're going out of town this weekend. I hope it's better by Friday. Holy crap. I'm just realizing we're going to California this weekend. That's gonna be interesting. Hopefully, I hopefully we get this taken care of before. Oh, I'm gonna have to wear this all weekend. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. Anyway, yay for being busy with the brace on. But I've gotta say, I mean, I look a little silly, but it's helping to like keep the pain in a place instead of like everywhere. Okay, I'm home. Oh my gosh, my cheeks. I feel like I even look a little flush because of the pain. <laughs> Or it's just hot still. Um, anyway, what I was saying is that if there's anything like, if you ever have like, like throw your back out, throw a hip out, need something like aligned, 
go to a chiropractor first, guys, because it's so helpful. Muscle Works Inc. And Andorra, California. It's it's great. It's really great. Chiropractors are great. Muscle Works Inc. All you people who don't Andorra, believe in chiropractors, California. you should, because they're magic. <laughs> anyway, hopefully this helps. I have to go back in on Friday. Hopefully the pain isn't as bad. Hopefully I can get out of this car. Oh, I'm still buckled. Can't get out if I'm buckled. <laughs> Wish me luck today, everyone. It's gonna be a challenging day. <clears throat> I've got my eyes on you. You're everything that I see. I want your heart, love, and emotion endlessly. I can't get over you.